Uh, yes, 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 people are back. We're back again on the next segment of the Breakdown Show every Saturday on Pi Radio, 2 to 3 p.m. Make sure you tune in next week as well. We're going to have another special guest. But right now, I'm joined by the man himself, the man the moment, man I say. Come on, man. How have you been finding the show so far, though? It's good, you know. It's Saturday now, so, yeah, yeah it's good. Come on, come on. What else you got planned for the rest of the day? Because we were just talking about, about something that you was going to do after you leave here. I'm going to see Comfy, my boy, man. I'm gonna yeah, try yeah, to see him, man. Yeah, the video shooting, covering it. Come on. Yeah, come on, man. Everyone, make sure you go tune into that one. Tune into the podcast with the one comfy coming out tomorrow. But yeah, man. Obviously, we don't look a bit. If you if you're just tuning in a bit late, we started off doing a bit of an interview, just talking about him and his music journey so far. But Ryan, I just want to talk to you about just things that have been trending recently. And you get me, just there's a few different topics. And one thing I was on Twitter the other day, and a lot of people were debating about who they think is the most underrated artist in the UK. The one like the artist in the UK. Come on, man. Don't, don't How can you do this like that? Man? Don't just say your brethren's in it. Like artists that you think are not getting the recognition they deserve. You, just, you don't. A big artists has come up artists, but coming artists. A mixture of both and a mixture of both. This is gonna sound like a weird one, but Rams, you know, Rams. Yeah, no, I, I think he's hard. He's mm. underrated. If, yeah. I think his music's elevated, man. Mm. Helps you. Helps you grow as a person. Hundred. Hundred. A coming artist. <laughs> 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 he's looking at the camera. He knows he wants to say himself. He, he wants to say himself, innit? I will say myself. I won't lie. Nah, hey, yeah, hey. myself. Mm. And, uh, yeah, there's a couple underrated man in there, but I do agree with Rams. I'm not gonna lie to you. I feel like obviously the barking tune kind of boss him in it. Yeah, but bossing then, good in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's like I feel like that kind of got rid of start a little bit, and people kind of lost interest after a while. And then he kind of he ghosted, and now he's back, and he's not really, it's not slapping the same. You feel me? I think he's slapping. You know, so like Nello. Mm. Listen oh, to Nello. I SK. Never heard it, you know. Rams and Nella hard mm. and live life as well. Yeah. Listen to that. Yeah. Very good. Nah, I noticed that that's the style of music you like, and you like that wavy, vibey music. Melodic, yeah. 100%, 100%. So what's that? I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think because you see with me, yeah, when it comes to music, I'm a, I am prefer like just hard hitting lyrics rather than wave and vibe. Really? You get me? That's just my personal preference, isn't it? But you see, where do you think that comes from? Like the fact you enjoy the wave? Is that like your upbringing or something? I'm African, man. I'm Nigerian, man. Yeah, I'm Nigerian as well. Come on, man. <laughs> you're about, you're about, innit? Are you over? Are you over? Why is he laughing? Yo, I'm Benny, lad. Rotted. I think you're the first Benny I've had on the show still, I can't lie. See, history there, man. Yeah, no, but um, (laughs) anyways, what I was going to say is like, in terms of when you was growing up, what kind of music was playing in your household? Michael Jackson. Oh, yeah, you said Michael uh, Jackson. Boys to Men. Yeah. Uh, Yeah, Boys to Men, man, really. Now, let's talk about Michael Jackson quickly, Nick, because like, do you think, yeah, the greatest, greatest of all time. Greatest. Now, because people always like to have the debate, um, Drake versus Michael Jackson. Like, who the My best, mom would the stand, best yeah. Maker. My mom would stand, yeah. like, there. Mm. People would just fade. Mm, no, that's fact, that's fact. His impact How can someone is, just stand yeah. there and make you just fade? Nah, I hear you. I hear you. Come on, man. Now, if, we're talk- if we're talking impact and, like, just presence, I think I don't think you can put Drake above M- MJ in it. But a lot of people say, just in terms of how many bangers they both have, People always put Drake above MJ. What do you think? Wait, do you rate Drake? Hundred, he's hard. Yeah, yeah, very yeah, hard. Yeah, yeah, very, yeah. very hard. But what do you think MJ's Michael above Jackson? Him? Wow. Nah, I hear you. I hear you. Oof. Nah, nah. What's nah. your favorite? What's your top five MJ song then? I'm gonna put you on the spot. Mm. Billie Jean. Billie Jean. Billie Jean. Billie Jean. Jean. Uh. So many, man. I don't know their names, but. I uh, sing them then. I know you're. I know well, you're, my you're, vocals, I, you know. I know you're. Get to do my vocals, nah, nah. Uh, black or white? I was called. I don't know. Mm. Black or white? You're not alone. Mm, mm, that's mm, hard. Yeah, yeah. That's that. Even the thriller as well. Thriller is hard. Yeah, those are classics still. But MJ, his name's always been involved in a lot of controversial things as well. Like people like to spread <laughs> rumors and this and that. What do you think about those kind of things? You I just... think the timing is just a bit dodgy, fam. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. It's a bit dodgy, man. Let's mm. not even get into that, but it's a bit dodgy for me to have someone just, I random just do that, man, but yeah. it's a bit dodgy, fam. Nah, exactly, man, exactly. But obviously, I wanted to talk a little bit, obviously, you mentioned Drake as well. You yeah. have to compare MJ and Drake all the time. It's like, you see with Drake, yeah, he likes to collab with the UK artists a lot. Yeah, it does. You see when Shout he, but he, he gets like a mixed reception. Some people hate on him when he does it. And some people love it and embrace him. What do you think when Drake does? What's your favorite um, UK club anyway with Drake? Dave, wanna Dave. know? Yeah, that's wavy. <laughs> <laughs> that is a whole nah, team. Hard, I just hard. remember that. It Dave, wanna know, man? Yeah, yeah. 
I remember I was listening to um, an interview of Dave's manager in it, yeah. and they were talking about how that song came about, and it was just so random. Like Drake just heard the song, and he wanted to do a remix for it. You feel me? No, actually, originally Drake wanted to do his own version of that on the beat, okay. and then he just said, "I might as well put Dave on it as well and just do a remix of the version." So, yeah, it's one of them ones, them man. You see, what would you like? Let's say, for example, yeah, Drake reached out to you mm. to do a song, mm. but then he tells you that you've got to switch up the sound. You can't, you like, for example, you want to do what's what's I don't know what genre do you not listen to the most? Drill, drill, you don't listen to drill the I most, I do, but not not as much as so. Let's just say, um, Drake people. shouts you to do a drill thing. Are you doing it? Yeah, 100, like, 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 not no, but I'm talking like he wants you to do like you know, like a V9 level drill, like nah, 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 nah. I'm, I'm not spitting like that. Just say no, it's a drink. Nah, nah, nah. Swear. Nah, I'm not Nah, hey, you are, hey, you are, hey. Because it's important to protect your brand, innit? I embarrassed myself in the of everyone, man. Nah, hey, you are, hey, you are, hey. Mm-hmm. Nah, but obviously, you see with drill, yeah. It's like, uh, that's also been trending recently as well, because people are kind of be talking about whether how drill influences the kids. Get oh, yeah, a lot hard. of people talk about, like, rah, drill is the cause of knife nah, crime and it's the cause of a lot of the violence that's going on right now. What do you think about that? That's just silly behavior, man. Yeah. That's just silly, man. Mm. Like, it's your own, it's what you think, innit? Mm. Like, you control your body, man. You know what you're doing, man. No, 100%. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So you feel like there's, you, you don't think you can blame drill, or you, or you don't think the drill has an influence on what's going on with the kids right now? Why? For, no, it can't. Mm. It can't. It's the same with, like, love songs, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't mean because this love song can get a girl, innit? Yeah. So, <laughs> come on, mate. <laughs> nah, same hey, thing with drill, man. Nah, that's <laughs> fact, that's fact, that's fact still. But, like, what was the first drill song you heard, though? Like, what was the introduction to drill? It was Harlem Spartans. Mm, yeah, yeah. Blanco, that. Harlem Spartans, Blanco. Yeah, man. yeah. What tune was it? Was it um, I remember. Ket Nizzy or something? Something like that. No, because Harlem, they had that golden generation, obviously. Harlem Spartans. Things, ah. things aren't really. No, nah, let's talk about the Harlem Spartans gen- that and generation in, in, in general. Like, Ken Inware started, mm. um, Call Me a Spartan, them times there. Like, who would you say is, is your goal of a drill? Like, the drill artist that's just your greatest, your favorite of all time when it comes to drill? <laughs> I put him on the spot with this one still. You can't really pacify Skepta's drill, but a grime from the, from the grime scene for me, Skepta, mm-hmm. as we can hop on any beat. Mm. And uh, from the drill scene, I actually like Lowski a lot, man. Yeah, I really Lowski, I really Lowski. Goes in different beats, man. Mm, 100%. But yeah. But even you're a fan of Afrobeats, and Lowski does the Afrobeats thing as well. Yeah, like with Forrest the. Forrest Gump. Western as well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now, Lowski's wavy, I can't lie. Like, like, even his floor, like, he's a proper pioneer in the drill thing because a lot Bro. of people kind of, like, he was one of the originals in the drill thing, you feel me? Yeah. And even when it comes to drill, though, do you feel like um, drill has a long way uh, has a long way to go in the UK or do you think it's kind of reaching a peak soon? It's, it's almost there, man. It's, it's everywhere, man. Yeah. Drill's like the sound of the UK, so. Yeah, trust me. It's like, I'm basically on the world right now. I'm seeing Ghanaians do drill. I'm seeing <laughs> Australians, Italians, New York, yeah. everywhere. Like, drill, drill's doing a thing right now. But you see what Afrobeats do? I had another Afrobeats artist on here last okay. week. Okay. And it's like, we were talking about, do you think Afrobeats gets the recognition it deserves no, it doesn't. in the UK? Think about it. Mm. There's no platform for Afrobeats artists. Mm. If you need it, there's no Afrobeat platform yeah, I hear you. for Afrobeat artists. So it's a bit harder to blow. Yeah, upper B songs. Cool. I hear you. Yeah, but like, what more? What more support from the UK would you want to help Afrobeats kind of reach where it needs to reach? We need a platform for it. Yeah, like what? When you say a platform, what kind of like a YouTube channel just for Afrobeats? Just you like Jerem, Jerem, same yeah. thing for Afrobeats. Okay, I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. Now that makes sense because obviously Drill have that with like Press Play, exactly. and then Grammy used to have that back in the day with like Risky Roll and kind of thing. And when you think Afrobeats, it's always like now. Nah, but to be honest, Afrobeats are kind of recent in the UK. It's not been in the UK for yeah. that long. You know what I'm trying to say? So like, do you for think five years though? Mm, five, six true, years. True, 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 true. What was, what was your introduction to Afrobeats? Like what was the first Afrobeats song you heard? Two Face, you remember Two Face? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah ah, David O as well, man. Yeah, yeah, David O. Even do you wait, Bernard? P Square. Yeah, P Square. Who's the king of Afrobeats for you then? Ah, Bernard was not there though. You don't, you don't. It's not Bernard. It's not Dell. No, Bro, you don't wait, Bernard. No, he's young. Oh, why not? Nah, nah, no. You don't, you don't slap for you. He slaps, but not Bernard. Is it? Nah, right. You said that with him as well. Like, you don't rate him. Nah, I rate him. I rate him, but okay. just nah. Okay, okay. Why is there a reason behind that? You just mm. people better than him. I think um, David O just applies to more people, man. He's oh. just open to more people. Like, 
Oh, so David was like your king Afrobeats? Yeah. Okay, I heard that, I heard that. Nah, because I feel like with Afrobeats, I'm not going to lie to you, Afrobeats never really been a genre man's really like talking too much just because yeah. man's grown up around Afrobeats, isn't it? So I've, yeah. never, I've never had to go out of my way to listen, yeah, to, to, listen to it. Yeah, to listen to it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, you see when you're growing up, yeah, is there any Afrobeats song that you remember growing up? Like, because for me, I remember, um, do you remember that Antenna? Um, mm, 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 yeah, mm, yeah. Mm, you remember mm, Azonto as yeah. well? Yeah, those were the songs that I remember. Is there any more that you remember from when you were growing up? Peace, I know it's Peace, man. Oh. Uh, chop my money. Yeah, yeah. That, uh, that one, that one is sweet, man. That one is very, very aye, sweet. Aye, that is, that is nostalgia. That song. Yeah, Acorn. Yeah. And peace, work. Nah, no, hundred percent, man. Hundred percent. Like Afrobeats, yeah, it's because obviously you see, you use Afrobeats artists. Mm. I feel like it's, it's I'm not easy. Afrobeat artist, you know. No, I, I know what you mean, but someone that makes Afrobeats. Okay, music, okay, okay. It, it's like I feel like it's easier for you to fight your African in it. Yeah, like, very uh, easy. Because it's like you're around your target audience on a day to day basis. You yeah, feel 100. me? So, so like, talk to me, like, is there a reason why you said Afrobeats the music man's gonna make? A it's a vibe. Mm. It's just a vibe. Yeah. When okay. you go up with it, it's just, it's just part of you, innit? Yeah. It's just a vibe, man. No, 100%. Nah, it's, it's, it's a cultural thing, innit? Yeah, like, 100%. We've had people from outside of African culture try to do Afrobeats, and it's like, it's not stuck mm. thing, because it's not authentic, you feel me? I think it's the accent as well, you know? Yeah, is it? Yeah, it's the accent for me. Nah, I heard that, I heard that. Obviously, you were talking about Davido talked about chris brown so obviously we're gonna go to our next music break we're gonna play a tune from davido and chris brown come on blow my mind you know the tune very very shit you know it very very i've right. not even heard it still like let's huh? take it. i've not heard the tune before you know you need to behave you need to give an issue to deal <laughs> <laughs> 